Your Credit Matters segment. I think we can do that and talk about, oh, let's see where we've got it here. I know I put it in the folder. Decoding your FICO score. That's what we want to talk about. Your Credit Matters brought to you by rsrdebtfree.com, rsrdebtfree.com. Again, welcome back to Ron Segal Radio. We're here to empower you with knowledge you need to secure your financial future. If you're planning to buy a home, finance a car, or just want to manage your finances better, you're in the right place. Today, we're zeroing in on a critical piece of your financial puzzle, the FICO credit score. Not the Vantage credit score, not the credit score. FICO credit score. Ever wonder what goes into that elusive number that can determine the fate of your loan applications? Let's break it down piece by piece. The FICO score created by Fair Isaac Corporation is a three-digit number that ranges from 300 to 850. A higher score not only boosts your chances of getting approved for loans, but also helps secure better interest rates. But what makes up a FICO score? Let's dive in. First up, arguably the most important is your payment history. This accounts for 35% of your FICO score. It reflects whether you've paid your past credit accounts on time, missed payments, bankruptcy, foreclosures. They can all negatively impact your score. Remember, consistency is key to maintaining a strong payment history. Number two, we have the amounts owed, which makes up 30% of your score. This isn't just about how much you owe, but how much of your available credit you're using. This is called your credit utilization ratio. Keeping this ratio low shows lenders you're not only reliant on credit, which positions you as a lower risk. How do you figure that out? Divide the amount you owe by the total amount of your credit limit. So if you have a $1,000 amount owed on a $10,000 limit, that's 10% utilization. Very good for your credit scores. Number three, length of credit history. Coming in at 15%, the length of your credit history plays a pivotal role. A longer credit history can be beneficial as it provides more data on how you manage debt over time. It's not just about age, though. How long your accounts have been active counts, too. That's why I mentioned when we were talking about the paying your credit cards on time and keeping your accounts active in our video, rsrccpayment.com, rsrccpayment.com. We show you how to keep your accounts active. I'm saying that you've got four or five different household bills that are probably about the same every single month. Your cable bill, your internet bill, your Netflix bill, your, you know, whatever you use, streaming services. Those are probably going to be about the same. Put each one of them on a separate credit card and then go to your bank and make an auto pay for each one about the date that they are due. That way it keeps your card active and your utilization low. So that helps your credit history. Over time, that gets better. That's why we say do not close those old credit cards. You know, if you've got an old credit card with good credit history, keep it open because it's helping on that 15% of your score. People look frequently when they'll call us and say, we don't want you to check our credit because it hurts my score. Well, yeah, but you just closed a credit card that you've had for 10 years. That hurts your score more. Let's uh, look at the other two components of your FICO score. New credit and credit mix, each comprising 10% of your score. That's new credit and credit mix. Opening several new credit accounts in a short period can be seen as risky and might lower your score. Meanwhile, having a mix of credit types like credit cards, retail accounts, installment loans, and mortgage loans, installment loans like car payments and whatnot, can actually benefit your score, showing you can handle various types of credit responsibly. Understanding what makes up your FICO score is the first step toward mastering your financial health. Whether you're eyeing a new home or just aiming to get your finances in shape, knowing these components helps you plan better and act smarter. That's all for today on the anatomy of a FICO credit score. Thanks for listening. We're here to help you build a stronger financial future one segment or episode at a time. That's Your Credit Matters brought to you by rsrdebtfree.com, rsrdebtfree.com.